will be back with another video and today's topic is about yours truly me all right like i said in my intro today's video is about moi and i decided to do this video because i have yet to do an intro video of just introducing myself letting you guys know who i am and what my channel is about and why i even decided to brave this challenge and create youtube videos create content so we we'll start with the basics who's naomi i am 27 years old i'm a floridian i was born and raised here in florida i went to college in florida i went to fiu so go panthers um i am a thanksgiving baby I was born around Thanksgiving. My mom was eating her Thanksgiving food when she had had me. Um, so shout out to all the Sagittarius out there in the world. Okay, I see y'all. Mm. And a fun fact about me when I was born: my name wasn't supposed to be originally Niobe. It was supposed to be <laughs> Najiba, but God intervened and told my mother, "No, that would not be that child's name because that's not it." Um, so she forgot that name totally, she said, after she gave birth to me. And, um, you're probably like, how can you forget a child's name that you picked out? But I'm her first child, so she was going through the labor pains and stuff like that, and she forgot. So when the doctor asked her what my name would be, she came up with Niobe. And like I said, I think it's divine intervention, so, because I love my name. And my name is actually Japanese. And it means flowing river. And I think that was just perfect for me. God knew what my name needed to be. I am Jessica River. You know, I'm a smooth current, but underneath, I'm wild. And if there's a rock in my way or anything in my way, over time, I'll smooth it down, honey. Okay? Now, I am off the market. I am engaged to my lovely fiance, Donald. Um, if you guys have not yet seen, we did post a video of our engagement on my channel and we decided to do like a whole love journey story for you guys, just showing you us planning our wedding and just doing a couple things. We did do a video of cooking brunch because we love brunch. So if you want to check out any of those videos, just click up the link up above and you can watch those videos. And also, he is a game streamer, so if you like games like NBA 2K or Call of Duty, we do like to play together, so you can check his out his, face, um, his Facebook channel and his YouTube channel. Alright, so why did I want to start a YouTube channel? The desire was always there when I was in high school back in 2011. Um, I always watch Raven Lee's, Jackiana, Jayla Corian, like those were like my main um, people that I used to watch on YouTube and they always inspired me to do my own channel. I'm like, I saw all these lovely, beautiful black women making their, you know, creating their brand, starting their own business basically and being successful and just sharing their story and their life and I'm like, yo, you know, it would be so cool if I can do the same thing. But, of course, I have insecurities just like everyone else. I have doubts. Um, and, and also, I would say the drive to just start a YouTube channel. Just to get up and do it. I didn't have it. Um, I kept making excuses like, oh, I don't have the money. I don't have the time. No one wants to hear from me. No one wants to look at my videos. That's all of those negative things were holding me back. So back in 2016, when I was in college, and you know, you get your little refund check, I decided one year that I was going to use some of the money and buy a camera. I did get a camera off of Amazon. It was like a little package deal. It was like $200 for a little recording video camera that I am using right now, actually. But the funny thing is, when I bought the camera, I did not use it to record videos. Um, still making excuses, still letting my insecurities hold me back. Um, it had the camera, but just wasn't using it for that purpose. I would just take pictures of events and stuff going on in my life, but I would not use it for its full purpose. It literally was collecting dust, and my investment was going to waste. <laughs> so... Um, but it was baby steps, y'all. Baby steps. <laughs> um, 
I will say flashback to well fast forward to 2020 my job my last job we had a project and the project was to record yourself um, for your clients for any of your clients you had to do an individual video of yourself during the pandemic just telling them that you were thinking about them you care about them and let them know that we had some resources that they can use to help the students and their parents at home. And our coworker went to fit like he um, went to school for film, and he decided to show everyone on the team how to use iMovie. So I'm sitting here watching this guy edit this video, and it was so easy, guys. I I I have my slow moments, but like. I pick up things really fast and I was so shocked that it was that easy to edit on iMovie so shout out to Michael okay I have the camera now now I know that iMovie is easy that was just like a confidence booster that yo you have no more excuses you can start a YouTube channel you have Canva just do it and what better time to do it when you're furloughed you're not working you're doing it's a pandemic you're not going nowhere um you have no no excuses like you can do this so it took from 2011 to, to all the way to 2020 for me to finally have all the resources I needed and have the confidence and the drive and the time to finally sit down and decide to start my channel so that's a little timeline and just a backstory about, you know, what made me want to decide now was the perfect time to do my channel. Now for my channel, my desire or what I want to get out of this experience is not just making a lot of money. I know a lot of people want to do YouTube to make a lot of money, but of course I want this to grow into a profitable business. And I want my brand to be represented throughout my whole process. Like this is me building my personal brand that I would like to market and leverage at one point in my life to, you know, get ahead in life. But my also my desire is to look back on these videos with like my grandkids or my kids and they look up Naomi McCall and see like mom oh you were beautiful oh mom you were a boss oh mom like you was doing it like that's what I want to feel like when I get older like looking back on like projects and stuff I can like imagine Beyonce like her leaving her legacy for her kids like they can look back at her creativity and her art and just admire their mother so that's what I want and I also want to like see my growth like Naomi back in 2011 to Naomi in 2020 is two different people and I just think it would be cool to document that process of me growing into an older woman like the woman that I am like I am still young I feel like I'm still figuring out life I just got engaged there's so many things changing in my life in just the last four months and it would be awesome to record those changes and be able to look back on the growth and just because I think something I learned too is that you have to, you have to celebrate your milestones, your, your, your achievements. And I think this will be an awesome way to do that. So I hope to, you know, that you guys like my hobbies, my passions that I'm going to share with you guys on here. And if you like what you see so far, don't forget to hit the like button down below. So that leads me to concluding this video with just what would you find on this channel. You'll find so many things on this channel from, you know, like I said, my love story with my fiance, Donald. You'll find me cooking. You will find me reading books that I love, um, poems that I wrote, or I just want to share with you guys my personal thoughts. You will find me dressing up in my wigs because your girl loves wigs. Um, my natural hair journey, I am a 4C girl true and through, but it has been ups and downs in this uh, natural hair journey, so I want to share that with you guys. Um, that, it's just going to be a whole lot of stuff. I like to, 
I'm the type of person who likes to go on Amazon and buy products and try them out. So I'll like tell you guys my honest opinion. I promise to always be honest and never try to just, you know, sell a, sell a product just to sell it. I'm going to be, you know, honest with you guys. I will end with this. I almost forgot to share two very important things with you. And that is my favorite, two favorite Bible quotes or themes you would say um, that helped me get to where I am today and my confidence and just moving forward always. So the first one is from Timothy, 2 Timothy, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. Always keep that in my toolbox anytime I feel doubt, anytime I feel fear. And then in James um, chapter 2, Thus also faith by itself, if it does not have works, it is dead. So faith without works is dead. So I had the faith, but I didn't have the works behind this. And now that I have both of them, let's do this thing. So that's what you'll find so much on my channel. And if you are interested in following me on this journey of life, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified when I post new content on my channel. Let me know in the comments what you like about this video. Always, guys, before I leave, I always wish you peace, love, and happiness. Bye.